All right, everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today, we're going to do something a little bit unusual. We're going to compare a, a regular RV trailer, small tab trailer, to a home built um, cargo trailer. So, we took this, we bought this cargo trailer and converted it, put the solar on it. And this was a uh, this was donated to us, so we're going to compare the two. Should you would you be happier if you bought the tab or the um, or if you bought the home built cargo trailer? And of course, the whole issue is money. Uh, we paid three thousand for the cargo trailer itself, and we got about three thousand in the build on the cargo trailer. Uh, this they're asking twenty thousand dollars for used. And that's why they uh, ended up donating it to us because they, they couldn't get the $20,000. And we could, uh, the 501c3, Homes on Wheels Alliance, could offer them a, a, a donation, a tax credit. Which one's better? $20,000 for that or $6,000 for that? Let's go inside and look around. Now they're going to pull both of these with SUVs. Smaller, well, I guess these are medium sized SUVs. You wouldn't call them small. And we think they're both going to be fined. I wish I had an official weight for them to tell you what the exact weights were of these two rigs, because that's really, really important. But you can see they're all hooked up and ready to go. This one's all ready to go. This is a Vino's cargo trailer, and it's made by Mirage. It was a brand I wasn't familiar with, but it's a pretty decent trailer. And this is the Camp buy a new new camp and you can see that it's hooked up ready to go so it's got uh it comes with a lot more i mean you know it comes with a propane system so inside it's it comes with a propane bottle and a place to put it in uh, and a, we bought the battery but it has all this it has the system built in we didn't have to they didn't have to buy it or or put it in themselves and all this adds up the price you know all this stuff extra stuff you're seeing here really quickly shoots up the price and this is the uh, boondock edition and so you're getting a lot of features because it's the boondock edition you can see it's taller it has nice uh pretty aggressive uh all-terrain tires and you can see it's quite a bit higher a lot more ground clearance than most trailers and it's got, they, they've moved in. They're just, just moved in. They haven't really shaken everything out yet. But it's a nice trailer, but none of it's flexible. You can't change it. You can't build it to how you want it to be. Now, one of the big disadvantages to the tab is that you don't have a lot of roof space. Now, I'm not tall. I'm only 5'8". Eight eight. I don't have to, to, uh, to bend over here. But as I move towards the bed, there's a slope down. Now I'm hitting my head. At right here about two or three feet in I'm actually hitting my head now again I'm not tall I'm five foot eight so that's a big distance and I'm really really crunching down to get under back here so that's one disadvantage the, the the big advantage is that now it's very aerodynamic so maybe it would be better for fuel mileage in the long run the height is, is an issue with it with one of these teardrops whereas when we get over in the uh, cargo trailer that's they're just huge they're tall this is a really unusually tall one so the height is a, is a problem. Uh, inside, it's really nice. You know, it's nice wood. Uh, it's got the systems. It's got the sink and uh, and all nice cabinet. Got the built-in fridge and, and more more cabinet underneath. Uh, it, this one has an air conditioner that it came with. So you're buying all this stuff. I mean, you bought a TV here. And you, you bought all this nice stuff. But do you want it? Here's here's a here's a radio system that's that came with it. And you don't really get a lot of choice in in sleeping or or organization here. So you're stuck with what they give you. You're getting a TV, you're getting an air conditioner, maybe you can order a stripped down model. I don't know. I mean, do you, do you really want to spend the extra money on this? Um, and again, maybe you can get a stripped down model. I hope so. Uh, I don't think it's solar. You had to buy your own, install your own solar. So it, it's it got disadvantages to being in here. Now let's go over to the um, cargo trailer and see what we did with it. We built it for the person. The recipient was here. We built it exactly the way they wanted. Okay, so right off the bat, we're at the back of the cargo trailer. 
you've got a back door. This thing drops down and you get the ventilation. You can build, you can drop this down and put blocks under it and have a back porch. You can put a, uh, a, a tarp over it and have a covered back porch. You can open this, put mosquito netting on it and have really cool, I mean, so right off the bat, just having an enormous back door is a big, big plus. This is very tall. This is uh, one of the reasons this guy bought this trailer is because it's got extra height. It has at least as much height as the other one did. And it's very tall inside now. So now I'm inside and, and okay, I, I, I'm touching the ceiling. So this is how much height. If you're a tall guy, which would you rather have, or, or a tall gal? I mean, there are gals who are, are, are taller than I am. I'm not just, a, I'm a really average sized guy. But all the way across, we've got, we've got uh, all kinds of height. And you can buy these trailers uh, for around three grand this tall, pretty easily. So that's not an issue at all. And then it, installing solar on here is easy. We, we, went, we didn't even install, try to install solar on, on the uh, tab trailer because of the curved roof. That was just gonna be a big pain in the butt. It was really easy to install in here, big flat roof, huge flat roof. And so we could put as much solar on the roof as we practically wanted. And then there's lots of places inside to put the, um, to put the components. So we have about uh, $6,000 into this cargo trailer. We built it just the way they wanted. She wanted a sink, so we've got her a sink. We got a little, on this V nose, we got a huge amount of room. We put in a 12 volt compressor fridge, which will be much more efficient than uh, the propane fridge. This will run right off solar, not burning any fossil fuel. Lots and lots of room up here. And they were uh, mom and, and son. And so we put in bunk beds. Well, you know, this wasn't going to be an option on, on any RV that you buy. And it's big, and it's open, and it's built exactly for them. It has what they want and nothing else. We put in a window. Uh, of course, you want some windows, and we might we probably want more, but we put, just put in the one. We insulated this. This has got an inch of styrofoam on the roof and on the walls, and so it's going to be much better insulated than that other trailer. So the real question is, just which do you want? Which of these is the thing that matters most to you. 6,000 for this, built just how you wanted it. it, infinitely changeable and expandable in the future. Lots of storage and organization. And no, it's not as nice and as fancy. No, it just isn't, but boy, it's $6,000. <laughs> and it's exactly what you want and how you want it. So personally, I would choose this. But I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just offering you the choices. So there you have it, folks. A tale of two trailers. Uh, one is 20 grand, and you have no, virtually no control over what you get. You buy a lot of stuff you may or you may not want. You don't get a lot of roof space. You don't get a lot of insulation. Um, yeah. But it looks really pretty, really pretty inside. And the other is a cargo trailer. You had to do a lot of work to build it. So the cargo trailer was, on one hand, was about 6,000 with everything you see, solar on the roof, solar installed completely. And the, uh, and the tab was 20,000, no solar, uh, stuff you don't want, air conditioning and, and a TV and a radio and, and the complete propane system. And so it's just a matter of you make your own choice, which one is what you want. And for me, it's easy. It's an easy choice. I'll take the cargo trailer and build it custom to exactly what I want and at a whole lot less price and a whole lot less weight. And so, uh, but you have to make your own choice. And I guess I'm being, uh, I guess I'm being prejudiced, aren't I? But uh, hopefully you've seen the pros and the cons and you can make your own decision. Okay. I hope you got something out of that. If you did, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later.